Welcome back for Waterpark Rangers Let's Play Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we were checking out the Garden of Hope. It was a rainy day, we had a lot of blues, we were fishing a lot of fruit out of the water. But we didn't get it all. There's some more to find. It shouldn't be too difficult to pull out. And also, once we get it, I think we'll be able to have a sneak peek at the area's boss. No promises on us defeating it today. Uh, if we don't know anything about its strategy, what it is, we're probably just going to try and learn that today, and then defeat it on the next day. So, two more days here. Ought to do us some good. I've already decided that we're going to need rocks, unfortunately. <laughs> I say unfortunately because I couldn't really think of where there are bomb rocks in this area. So, these guys are honestly our best bet for fighting the Pekish Aristocrab. I'm going to fight in a group of 40. Yeah, I think 40's good. Okay, let's do this. We had to go across a three-way, like, pilot-throwing gamut. It was over this way. Pretty sure this is the only way to the... Creep Crab's lair. Well, actually, no, that'd be a Hermit Cromad. And there you go. Let's toss some rocks. Please don't fall in, guys. That would suck. Okay. Uh, very carefully, I'll take Charlie and throw him over. And I guess I can afford to throw Charlie some rock pickling. So far that Becker's Mr. Pad doesn't seem to have noticed us. So I'll just keep throwing. Okay. Here goes. Oh, You jerk. Oh, somehow he's already throwing Pikmin in the water? How do you even manage that, man? No, 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 no. Oh, you just have to throw Pikmin at his claw to stop him from eating them. Nice. Guys, good work. There's our fruit. Oh! Pikmin are drowning. I guess they fell through there. Well, nothing I can do about that. I guess I'll give them the root of the Pekmin to grab the carry. So they can get a couple more on their numbers. I remember the first time that my Pikmin drowned in a Pikmin game. It was in the Forest of Hope. The sad thing is I did it deliberately to see whether Pikmin could swim or not. I had a hunch too already, due to there being a bridge, that they wouldn't be able to swim, but I tried, and they just drowned. That was a bad memory. I also remember the first time I saw a bullboard, and just thought that it might help me. I went up to ask it for instructions, or think it would join my, my crew or my party like the Pikmin did and it just started eating them. <laughs> that was horrible. Okay, this thing gives you more fragments. That's helpful. Because the Pikmin are just dropping right where there's more fragments. That is teamwork incarnate right there. Nice job, guys. Uh, okay. I guess they're just gonna keep doing it until they have them all. Meanwhile, is there any way for you to get down? Okay, good. Because I have a hunch that the final fruit... Well, there's, we just have to see what that is, because there is a big... One of those fluke weeds. And we need some pink Pikmin to do that, so pink Pikmin are exactly what we're going to fetch. Alright. Seems to me like that's a rousing success. Okay, guys. And that bridge is finally finished. This place is looking quite nice. We'll have them take the crab and the fruit. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> okay. Rockies will go back, switch them out for some pink Pikmin. Yes, I know they're winged Pikmin. Pink is just easier. What they should have been called anyway. 
For the same reason that yellow Pikmin aren't called ear Pikmin. <laughs> oh, come here. That's that's very foolish of you. That's good. 53? Maybe more? Yeah, that's good. I just want to have a lot because, I mean, they move so quickly, and besides, you know, that way no more annoying seeds spread out that we have to pluck. Because if we end up, by some stroke of luck, actually finishing the area on this day, which I kind of doubt, then I'd rather we not have to pull extra sprouts and come back just for that purpose. I hate leaving people behind in the form of sprouts. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you there? We'll toss you all the Pikmin that you could possibly need for your endeavors. Actually, come to think of it, that might not be necessary. What is necessary is tossing Brittany over here, but everything else is secondary. Alright. You go here. And now, I test my theory. My theory being that if I simply dismiss, and then, yep, she can call them. That's the great thing about flying Pikmin. <laughs> Get it! So glad I was right. Sometimes I love being right. <laughs> All depends. Yep, it sounds like they found something. It was a fruit. That is what I suspected. And with that, we're gonna have, I think, everything except the boss. So let's get ready to fight him, or it, or whatever. I have a, sus a suspicion that we're going to need to use blue Pikmin on it, since every boss has kind of needed a Pikmin. Like, the Behemoth Fossbat used yellows, Sandwichy Miller Slug didn't really have one, Scorned Maestro was totally Pick Pikmin, Armored Mod out of was kind of like Rock Pikmin. My guess is blues for this one. Um, but just in case he has varying abilities or whatever, I'll bring along these guys as well. I will. I definitely want to bring less pink Pikmin because they've just been used in a boss fight. I doubt they're really going to be used again. Now let's let's get let's get twenty just in case. You never know. Fifty-one. They're odd numbers, but it might just be what we need. Watch it have like fire. There be a. You know, I think it would be cool if it was a fire and water boss, but I'm not counting on that. Okay, a stray somehow, of course. It is inevitable. Oh, another rock. Well then, you can join the fight against whatever horrifying boss we're going to encounter. I'm pretty excited to see what it'll be. Although, as long as we're here, I'm going to sick one, two, three, four, five. And they can raise their population a little bit while we're off battling and dying. <laughs> Equivalent exchange. Okie dokie. We're really close to the signal's origin. Oh, well, there's a data file. Let's let's read the data file before we awaken what I'm assuming is, like, Colossus of Rhodes. Oh, looks like this is definitely a place to be bringing rock pick... I mean, blue Pikmin and not the others. Oh, hey! It's the ship from Pikmin 2! What's it doing here? Journal entry number one. Curse that Hockitate ship! It may once have been a top-of-the-line vessel, but it's now an insult to my piloting. I can't wait to pay off that debt and get back in my beloved SS Dolphin. But that means I need to find something really valuable before I return home. Is this an alternate universe Pikmin 2? Like a sequel to Pikmin 2? Is this like an alternate retelling? Like if they didn't get the treasure or something? What What is this? Also, mushrooms, they probably have notes, so I'm going to go get them. Also, rock Pikmin, please... Stop drowning. <laughs> Please. Yep, there was a data file, as suspected. The Armored Mod did this too. Quaggled Mireclops, number one. Threw it off balance and knock it over. I honestly can't tell what this boss is from looking at the picture in the diagram. Who knows? Oh, another data file. Okay. Probably more hints about the boss. Quaggled Mireclops, number two. Shatter the crystal and focus your attacks. So clearly... Rock Pikmin are needed. Okay. Actually, Rock Pikmin are needed. Okay. I mean, that helps, but... Okay. I'm, I don't get it. 
I think I understand what's going to happen as soon as we attack the crystal, though. I mean, just look at this. Oh well! Let's do it anyway. Yep. Here we go. This is going to be a crazy boss, I can tell. Quagmire Myerclops. Quagmire like a swamp? Oh. Oh man, this boss is going to be big, isn't it? Whoa! Oh, that thing is scary! Oh my god! Holy! How, how are we supposed to fight it? HOW ARE WE SUPPOSED TO FIGHT THIS THING?! Do we throw a captain up on This is like Shadow of the Colossus right here. How are we supposed to deal with this thing? I mean, those feet look tender. I guess we could try throwing rocks. Oh, or not, or not. <laughs> oh. Blues. Looks like they're attacking. Okay, they got thrown off, though. It said knock it off balance and then attack. Um. Get it. Um. Heh. Looks like the feet might be a weak spot. Yeah, they do seem to get a little red after they're attacked. But this is nothing to laugh at, Brittany. Um. This thing is scary. It's so big. Um. I don't quite get it. All I can say is, I never expected quite to see a boss like this. And now it's turning quickly. This has got to be like the biggest boss the Pikmin series has ever seen. That was probably their intention in designing it. Okay, its foot looks pretty swollen. Maybe now I can hit it with rocks? Or not. Is it stopping out puddles on the ground? That's my guess. Yeah, it looks like that's what it's doing. That is crazy. Crazy cool idea. Only, I still have no idea how we're going to bring it down. I feel like we've done all the damage we can do to that foot. Maybe we're supposed to hit, like, multiple feet? Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, it suddenly fell. Okay, we got an opening. Whoa, 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 what? What, 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 what? 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 Whoa! Not cool! That was bastardly! He just... He just ate, like, 30 Pikmin! Oh my god! This boss is a lot harder than the others! Um... How do we deal with this thing? How do we deal with this thing? This is absurd! Do we have to throw it off balance again or something? Okay, like, they're doing a good job on that foot. Uh, keep it up, guys. This boss is ridiculous! Um... Do we go and fight it now? Oh no. And it drowns him? This is a ruthless boss. What can I say? Like, this guy is ridiculous. Guys, get out of there. How are we supposed to deal with this thing? Okay, I don't think Pink Pikmin are gonna be- maybe Pink Pikmin are useful, because they can go for that fruit or whatever that its head is made of. Maybe its head is the final fruit in the area. Um... I don't quite get its deal. Oh god, it's just... This thing is a monster, what can I say? This is this is actually one of the most horrifying monsters in the Pikmin series. Oh, do we have to irritate multiple feet? Will that do something? Uh, although Rock Pikmin Shatter the Crystal, I don't know if they're going to be useful in the battle anymore. That is a ruthless boss. I get what it's trying to do, too. It charges towards you, and then it does that massive impact. That could kill an entire army. 
Okay, that means we need to disable more of the feet. Also means that blues are like the Pikmin to use in this fight for sure. I mean, tomorrow when we go to try to finish this thing, I think we should go after it with blues and not any more rock Pikmin. Guys, get out from under there. That does not bode well. That does not bode well for your survival. Oh, my god. This thing is just dreadful in every sense of the word. Just, it fills me with dread. <laughs> oh. Okay. At least no strays. That tongue attack just, just wiped out 30 Pikmin at once, and it came out of nowhere. There was, like, no cue. Just suddenly, bam. It just ate 30 Pikmin right off the bat. Okay. Wow. Alright, we've officially met our most challenging foe yet. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if we can kill him in an another day. It might take longer than that. This thing is a fiend. Absolute fiend. Maybe our notes will tell us more. Oh, you know what? This would be great for blending. We could get a nice mix of flavors. It's great how they're just able to forget their worries like that, isn't it? <laughs> uh. I'm pleasantly surprised to see such a difficult boss of a Pikmin series. Lesser block bottom. Then again, I guess I found certain bosses difficult the first time I fought them too. Maybe once I really understand this guy's strategy, he won't be so bad. That's my hope. My tummy is grumbling, and it's all because of that hawkitation! Don't tell me Louie's like controlling that thing or something. It's good to build our juice supply like this, we should be alright for a little while. Okay. Yeah. Like, 30 deaths suddenly. Uh-huh. Ten more fruits to get, but this... This 57th one is gonna be a challenge, I have to say. Alright. Day 36. Chasing down that vile fruit thief, Olimar. We encountered a massive creature, far larger than anything we'd seen before. It almost looked like a walking forest. I don't know how else to describe it. Other than saying that we don't want to get caught under its foot. That could be messy, like, really bad messy. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Okay, tomorrow we fight the Quaggled Mireclops yet again. We'll see how we do.